In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 47 through to 55. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh, flesh to eat? Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants of yours. Help us during this Lenten fast. Yes, many people will find this a difficult reading. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Many people think that this is being cannibals. How is it possible for Jesus to give his flesh and his blood for us to eat and drink? This, of course, we need to think about in the context of the meal Jesus had with his apostles, disciples on the Thursday before he suffered death. For at the supper, he took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my body. Eat. Then he took cup of wine, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples to drink. This is my blood, which is shed for the sins of the whole world. This, of course, is what Jesus was talking about in the beginning. Where he said that your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and are now dead. But this bread which comes down from heaven, he's talking about himself. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, became incarnate, became man. 
as a sacrifice to us. His body and his blood being sacrificed. He commissioned us at the Last Supper to do this in remembrance of him. Yes. But we Christians, we Orthodox, believe a bit more so. It looks like bread. It looks and smells like wine. But during the liturgy, the consecration, when those words are being said, become the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. We call on the Holy Spirit to come down on these items of bread and wine and to change them into the body and blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. This Holy Communion is the bread of life, the drink of salvation through his blood. This is why it is so important that we feed ourselves spiritually on the Word and on Holy Communion. The food, the bread of life, is Jesus' body and his blood. It's so important for you. So important for you to remember this. So important for you to go to the liturgy on Sundays or whenever else the liturgy is being said and held. To prepare yourself to receive worthily the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. For us to have life everlasting, we need this. Yes, we do. During this great Lent and fast, as we prepare to celebrate the death and resurrection of our Saviour Jesus Christ, Read the scriptures daily. Feed on the word of God. And as I said, if you can get yourself to church to partake in the liturgy and communion, do so. Your life depends on it. Just as your physical body depends on food and water, so too your spiritual life depends on the food of everlasting life. If we neglect this, our spiritual bodies would soon die through lack of being fed just like our bodies. These bodies need nourishment. Our souls need nourishment. Don't make excuses why you can't go. Your life depends on it. And when you pray, ask God to forgive you all those opportunities you failed in. Through the many sins you have committed, repent, calling on God to forgive you. And every day, give God the glory for the opportunities he bestows upon you. 
Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.